Thursday, December 9th, 2010, and this is your Daily Dose of Reptile News. Now, I know there's been some comments lately, and not just lately, but for, for quite why am I waving this uh, invoice around that you guys have nothing to do with? Does that have somebody's address on it? No, it doesn't. Okay. You, I, it's been going on for a while now. Uh, you know, I, I get some complaints, not really complaints, some uh, constructive criticism, I guess you could say, about talking about good reptile news. And, and, and my answer to everybody is always the same. I don't make the news. I, I don't create it. I, I wish I could, because I love talking about happy stuff. But it's just not happy right now, you know? We have a lot of idiots in our world that make the news. And um, yeah, so that's yet. Yeah. However, good news for today I dug through five pages of news stories and I, I wanted to just fill the day with good news and screw all that bad stuff I put it on the website but the video is gonna be good I couldn't do it I could not do it I, I out of five pages I came out with two stories that are that are pretty sweet but uh, of course we talk about about four days so we have two more that are not and we will start with the first one we're gonna start with the bad first so we can end this day on a good note now first of all the I mean I, this could be good for some people uh, Florida is rewriting their alligator hunting um, regulations. They are upping the the limit, I guess you could say, and I don't know exactly how this works, if it's like a seasonal limit for all hunters, but they're bringing it up to 850 from the previous uh, limit of 700. Um, they are extending the um, limits and seasons or whatever in particular areas. They, they state like uh, close to the coastal areas, um, this is over in Georgia too, by the way, that where the alligators live in abundance and then in some of the more inland places where they're fewer and far between they're actually going to restrict the hunting some more so that you know you uh give a little take them to get a little it's uh you know like i said good and bad maybe um yeah anyway moving on you may remember the california man the uh reptile dealer that got caught with all the lizards strapped to his chest um smuggling them in from australia well apparently you know he pleaded guilty which is good you know he he uh screwed up and he fessed up to it so that's awesome but there's a big hold up in his trial now because the u.s fish and wildlife service as well as wildlife authorities in australia where the the animals were smuggled from they apparently state that on the american black market these animals had an estimated value of 18 to 22 thousand dollars and I think the estimated value, it kind of goes along with, with whatever his sentencing is going to be, maybe. However, his lawyer states that they went on, on reptile forums and everything and talked to some people, and they can't prove that the value was over 10000 So anyway, apparently the judge just got tired of hearing the crap and said that was it and uh, ended court for today. Apparently they're going to resume tomorrow. But the question at hand now, and once again, I believe this is probably for the uh, sentencing proceedings, Meetings, why they need to know the estimated value of this crime. Uh, the argument is, I believe they said they can't prove they're worth any more than 10000 or less than 10000 However, the U.S. and Australian authorities say that their estimated value on the American black market is between $18,000 and $22,000. Now let's get to some good news, okay? The Australian Reptile Park apparently announced that they have a king cobra that has laid 34 eggs, which apparently for them, I believe this is a record. Um, 32 of those eggs are viable and have been removed from the snake enclosure to an incubator and uh, yeah they you know they're not sure how many they're going to keep or whatever but but the big news is 34 king cobra eggs 32 of them viable two of them not obviously you can add so um that's sweet news good for them um congratulations and the next one this is one that's just right up at the top of my list today and it's actually not today i put posted this on dailyreptilenews.com last night, but it's such an awesome story. I wanted to talk about it today. Um, Nicole Kidman apparently wants some pet snakes. Now, when I first thought about this, I thought, oh, you know, I can go get a cool little thumbnail to put with the article and draw a lot of attention or something, but but I, I've been thinking and thinking all day today, and I started thinking, now wait a minute, celebrities get away with anything, but Paris Hilton is not required to do 60 days in 
jail like you or I if we get caught drinking and driving or whatever. Celebrities get away with everything. So now you have a high profile person who is married to another high profile person who is already dealing in, in abnormal uh, alpacas, I guess. Can you call those abnormal? I do. But um, abnormal animals. And they want to get into some snakes. So maybe with this, you know, with all the regulation we're facing right now, maybe, you know, having a, putting a celebrity's face on it or something and God willing a celebrity's pocketbook that would be nice uh, maybe that will help us out a little bit and um, which brings us to our question of the day what do you think about that do you think it's going to be good or bad for our hobby um, do you think it's going to have more eyeballs looking at us and, and cause more problems or do you think it actually might help us um, leave a text comment or a video response below and last but not least we have today's reptile fun fact did you know now, now this is pretty amazing I didn't know it <coughs> I urge everybody do not try this because you'll be stupid if you do but did you know a green iguana can be submerged underwater for up to 28 minutes without taking a breath i didn't know that like i said don't be stupid and try it because uh, you know it's up to 28 minutes that doesn't mean yours isn't going to die after 10 so don't try it but it's a pretty cool fact and as always all those links are right down in the description if you'd like to read any more of these stories and uh yeah that's it as always if you're still watching my name is jason white now you know what's going on in the reptile world be good to each other Feel the teeth.